When we talk about melodic cells regarding soloing, it usually refers to short two beat patterns made up from eighth notes. These patterns are generally constructed from chord tones or a combination of chord tones, tensions, scale passing tones, or chromaticism. Now, if you haven't seen my melodic cell masterclass, then just click over here and watch that lesson. It has a PDF that you can download and you'll be able to get that PDF by just clicking this link here. And then I'll add that as well in the description box below. One of the cool aspects of working with four note melodic patterns is learning to piecemeal them together to create longer lines. For instance, if we have an F seventh chord, a very common four note cell is gonna be starting on the root, then going chromatically down to the flat seven and then back up to the root. So we have this. Now I could play that chromatically going up could also go back down now this helps you to acclimate the sound of those four note cells and also helps you to play it over different chord changes so give this a try let's take another idea over the f7 it's going to be a four note melodic cell and then we're going to start on the nine and go down to the flat seven then we're going to have a scale passing tone in between the flat seven and the five so notice how that six connects the flat seven down to the five if i then play that going chromatically up I get this sort of idea and again just acclimating yourself to that idea and how to play that chromatically up and down that's a really good practice routine you could even make that work as some kind of a warm-up drill now you go try it so if we put these two patterns together this is what we're gonna have And you could keep working this up and back down chromatically. And again, this kind of puts a really cool drill together for you to practice. Now, there's tons of ways to apply this over both moving chord changes and static chords. And one of the many approaches that I really like is what Pat Martino calls climbing up the stairs. This concept is where you would use these cellular patterns chromatically to connect one section of a tune to another. Check out how I use this over a blues progression to connect bars seven and eight to the last four bars of the form. Okay, so if we take a look at the form of the blues, we've got four bars of F7. Two bars of B flat seven. One bar of F7. One bar of D7. One bar of G minor seven. One bar of C7. One bar of F7 and then one bar of C7, and then that takes us back to the top. Those are the basic changes of the blues. In bar seven going to eight, we have that F7 going down to that D7. And this is kind of a cool part of the blues because you, know, you can do a lot of different things here. And what's kind of implied, even if the comping instrument doesn't play, is that this is kind of a descending, chromatic kind of thing you know with dominant seventh chords because it works so well just to go, go go down chromatically from the s7 to the d7 so when i'm putting in that melodic cell idea i'm using it as a double time thing as well which creates this really cool rhythmic tension as well as the harmonic tension and what's cool about that climbing the stairs as pat martino would say with that chromatic pattern going up is that it's creating this contrary motion between that descending 
dominant seventh line down from the F7 going down to the D7. And, you know, again, I'm using that double time idea and then I'm resolving it into the G minor seven. So it, it kind of has this effect, one, two, three, four. And then it takes me back to that F uh, seven, uh, which is the one chord. Right at the end on the turnaround, there's also some cool four note melodic ideas. Over the F seven, I've got three root, Chromatic above, chromatic below, the flat seven, double chromatic above the flat 13, up to the root. Then it goes to the G minor seven. I have the five flat three. And then this idea here is really uh, uh, used as a approach combination going into the tritone substitute. So what happens there is that I'm going uh, the seven, Okay, which is a scale approach, then the chromatic approach from above, the second or the nine, and then the double chromatic down to the root, and then that hits the third of the chord there, and then I resolve it to the three to the one over the F7. So check that out. So to recap, that's just a really cool way of creating some cool tension and release moving from that F7 down to the D7. And then that, that gives us that link chromatically climbing up the stairs like Pat Martino describes it, leading us into the G minor seven at the top of the last four bars. So if you like this type of improvisational approach and you want to learn more about harmony and how chord progressions work and how to improvise both accompanying bass lines and solos using this type of material, then you really want to take advantage of my 2019 lifetime membership offer. Just click over here and find out all the details. However, this will only be available for the next five people who sign up. I only do this once a year where you can join my Joe Hubbard Bass Videos membership site, which includes my renowned two-year bass mastery course, along with the Lesson Lounge, which has over 70 videos up there so far. You only pay once and you get lifetime access. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you on the other side. Mm -hmm.